Would this work for people with dementia then? Because they're also dealing with memories. Have you worked on any of I, I haven't, some have. Okay. But, but see, here's, now here's another thing you have to understand. Dementia, now I'm not an expert in dementia. Um, there are some things that can help, some things that cannot. There is, a, there is something else going on uh, chemically, mechanically, I don't know. But, you know, when you get to those, that stage, I don't know. But I'll tell you this, faster tea will improve the quality of anyone's life by merely addressing their stress and emotions. Dress the stress and emotions, the quality of life gets better. That, I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that one out. It works great with children, adult children like your age and other children, <laughs> right? Because we're all children. Um, I've been not so, uh, I've, my mother's got Alzheimer's and um, so, and it's sort of been, it's been gradual, but it goes sort of faster and slower. But so I've, I've been tapping on her, or at least before I sort of went away and it was making a massive difference. And a lot of the difference was just in her level of stress associated with it and all the fears and those sort of things. And so. It's sort of like, okay, so the process is you sort of lose your memory and, and those sort of things, but when you're under stress, that's most of your thinking. If you think about when you're in stress, you can't think straight, you can't sort mm -hmm. of concentrate, you sort mm -hmm. of lose where you are. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of, if you can address the stress around it, you know, that's sort of 70% of it. And then it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's a fairly sort of gradual thing. Mm -hmm. So. So that made a massive amount of difference to yeah. her. Yeah. yeah. But then she went away, I went away and she had a few incidents and they put, put a lot of sort of antidepressants and those sort of things so it becomes harder. But, mm -hmm. but it, yeah, you can make a massive, massive difference. Yeah. And Just, if, yeah, if yeah. people actually use it, that's the key if they use it. Unfortunately, this is a different way of thinking. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Kim, I, I see Kim, she has just dementia at times. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking, isn't it, Kim? I get you up here and I start asking you questions, you go... I think I'm numb and dumb. You go numb and dumb. Because it's an emotional coping skill. And another thing you think about, if all your life you've been being an expert at tucking and hiding and not looking at your memories, wouldn't it, it, wouldn't it be nice over all these times and all these years of practicing not remembering, it's easy to not remember? That could be what you call an emotional program. By the way, memory is a muscle. Memory is a muscle. If you don't use it, you lose it. It's just like somebody, if you learn languages, like for example, you learn, you, you're, you're born with uh, speaking Chinese or, or any other language, and then you come to America or, or Australia and you speak English a lot. All of a sudden, when you try to go back and start try to speak your own language, your own people, it's almost like you kind of forgot some of it. And so this is just how the brain works. So, yeah. All right. So. Set me free